Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present all the savory flavors of a backyard cookout wrapped up in one dish. My savory bacon cheeseburger pie. It's a simple recipe to make that's loaded with flavor, but not carbs. As a matter of fact, each serving has less than two and a half net carbs. Let me show you how to make it. Begin by adding one pound of ground beef to a skillet on medium high heat. Mix in about a half a cup of roughly diced onions. Add some salt, ground black pepper, and some onion powder. Stir to mix and continue cooking until the ground beef is fully browned and the onions have softened. I know that fat is good on a low-carb keto diet, but we need to drain the rendered fat for this recipe. It'll help the finished product set just a bit better. With the fat drain, we'll construct our dish. Pour the meat and onions into a large mixing bowl. Add some reduced sugar ketchup, some yellow mustard, and about two tablespoons of dill relish. Give that a mix to combine. Add some chopped cooked bacon and about one cup of finely shredded cheddar cheese. Mix again to combine. In a separate mixing bowl, add a half a cup of carb quick, a half a cup of heavy cream, and a bit of water. Give this a mix with a whisk until all the ingredients are incorporated. Now add two lightly beaten eggs and give another mix to combine. Pour the batter into the meat mixture and mix so that everything is well combined. Pour the final mixture into a 9 inch pie dish. Make sure it's spread as evenly as possible. This next step is optional, but I like to place the dish on a baking sheet to cook. This will help protect your oven from any unexpected bubble overs. Bake in the middle of a preheated 375 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. When the pie is done, Place on a cooling rack and let cool for at least 15 to 20 minutes. When cool, slice and serve. There you have it folks, my savory bacon cheeseburger pie. All the savory flavors of a bacon cheeseburger wrapped up into a single dish. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. I'll have something new every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.